Now, thanks for staying with us. So we, today, there's no international day to celebrate. So we'll just jump right into mm. what you found for us in the news. <laughs> mm. You know, we just um, went through a very devastating period during the protest. And um, during the NSAS protest, a lot of people were hurt. And we didn't want a situation whereby we have to go through that same process again. And I have to agree with um, Buhari's aide. Uh, on uh, media, new media to, he's, he's the personal assistant on new media, media to the president, and his name is Bashir Ahmed. And he says that um, Buhari's, um, he doesn't want a situation in Nigeria, in Lagos, act to be precise, the, he doesn't want a situation in Lagos where we will go back and have another protest because he warned against um, Lagos state residents going or embarking on another protest. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with him on this context because um, um, we need to give peace a chance. Mm -hmm. We need to give the government um, that leeway to actually do a thing or two on the 505, mm -hmm. which they're already working on currently. And those who have been in um, some sort of problem or the other during that we affected during the NSAS protest we, when it was Somebody said it's not hij it wasn't hijacked. Mm. That hoodlums actually took over it. Mm. They are yet to heal. And they would. I'm thinking they would also agree with um, the aid saying that. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, if you are, are part of the people that experience th that level of vandalism or destruction in your personal property, I'm sure when something like this is, you'll be in total support. But, but what I would like for him to say is, mm -hmm. okay, so so that it doesn't look like we're trying to stifle or trying to take away the right to protest, mm -hmm. right? So there are so many things playing out here. Absolutely. Uh, so, it, so it doesn't look like, okay, are you sure this people, because there are so many conspiracy theories out there about, Currently. you know, even the involvement of the hoodlums, you know, saying that they were sponsored and all of that. So mm -hmm. we need to be careful. But I think my advice, though, to the mm -hmm. protesters, I have never been one that um, would go on the streets to protest because I don't believe that those things actually make a difference. But with this NSAS protest, they made, I mean, they proved me wrong. It did make a difference, but it did not give us the results that we wanted, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is, can we find creative ways you know, to 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 structure absolutely yes, a, 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 an avenue where our voices will be, be heard. heard. That's what we need but to be. We need to be creative. But you see, thank media. you. And Sister. this was where social media was supposed to now play a huge, a huge role, role. You know, and I'm happy we're mm -hmm. discussing social media tomorrow because we have JJ Omoju are coming tomorrow. So Absolutely. it will be nice for us to find creative ways to, you and know, cement thing, that voice. And another thing is this, that anyone who is embarking on some sort of um, protest right now or going out into the streets on some sort of protest right now is not actually doing anyone any good mm. because those who were the original uh, protesters, they were peaceful, they were loving, they didn't have any iota of um, violence in them. Absolutely. And the IG also recently also warned against individuals going, going out back to protest. On the street. Yeah, yes. because you really cannot control the miscreants, you cannot control them. Absolutely. Yeah, so we have to find, first of all, until we are, we are so sure that it will not go the way it went, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you are not going to put people's lives again, again. and livelihood on, uh, at risk. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so I am going to be talking about the 46th president-elect President. United States of America. So congratulations to um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, <laughs> you know, the first black um, African-American -Am Female, female again, again, first female vice president. So I'm so happy yes, for her. Absolutely. Uh, and so it's so interesting that everybody's sending congla um, congratulatory messages. messages. I now saw our dear former president, President Olusegun Obasanjo. <laughs> I saw his, um, <laughs> I'm trying to find his letter where he was referring to, he was, he was referring to Kamala Harris as, um, that he's so, okay, that uh, Obama that was Kenya. Him. Yes. Obama was, um, from Kenyan descent, that he's mm -hmm. so sure that if they check it very well, <laughs> that Kamala Harris Nigeria, would be no? from Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian descent. You know, so I'm, I'm happy. But you know, mm -hmm. one thing that struck me with um, President Olusegun, former President Olusegun Obasanjo's letter, mm -hmm. was the reason why it was important for Joe Biden to be to win, to yeah, to be the one that would win this election. You know, mm -hmm. because he talked about, and these are the things that I think. Um, when, when they say character, character goes a long way. It goes a long way with everything that we're doing. No matter Absolutely. how upset or how whatever you are, try to also consider that there are other people, you know, that, you know. So he mentioned something As about... As a leader, especially. Yeah, he mentioned something about um, 
when people were, I mean, if you're not able to respect rule of law mm -hmm. and respect international agreements and treaties, mm -hmm. you know, that was what was a, um, a lot of international uh, countries were facing with um, President Trump, you know, Absolutely. that, you know, everything that they had done, what they had in built the for years and all of that is just coming, crumbling. Look at, mm -hmm. he refused to sign for the climate, um, the climate um, change. change, you know. So, so Bill. many things mm -hmm. that didn't Played happen, out. you know. And he left WHO. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, they're definitely going back Oh, definitely, now. definitely, definitely. Absolutely. So, I'm, I'm happy for the, the, the people in the United States, you know. I'm just hoping that, you know, while we're at this, you know, people should, like I mentioned yesterday, or as, as I mentioned yesterday, mm. notice that the numbers were really close, that they ha Trump had, in the midst of all this chaos that they are talking about, he yeah. had a huge following, a huge support, um, support, support system. system that supported his presidency, even with and all the things that in happened. Him. Absolutely. You know, I can't remember this guy's name now, top of my head, when he, was, he broke down in tears, was saying that now he can, mm. he can wake up, he can be a father to his child. There are so mm. many things that, that came up that played out, racism, so many things. You religion. Know, religion and all of that. So those divis div divisive lines, they are mm -hmm. still present. Wow. So how would they mend and bring everybody together so I, is what I don't I, know. I think what the work that has been cut out for um, Biden right now is for him to be able to heal America. How is that going to be possible? Will, because let America me tell you what stood, Trump did. What America stood for. Let me tell. No, you see, you, that's what you don't know. You don't know what they what they what they were standing for. Because you know why I'm saying this. Trump did not put that hatred or whatever into the hearts of the millions of people that supported him. He mm -hmm. only amplified what was already existing. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you something. When people apply pressure mm -hmm. on something, mm -hmm. it is only the content of the heart that comes out. Absolutely. Do you understand? Absolutely. So I cannot, be, I cannot turn you into a terrorist. No. Mm -hmm. If you are a terrorist, you are a terrorist. I can only come and amplify what is already in, existing inside of you. So what we saw in America was already existing in the hearts of those people that are supporting you know, President Trump. So he mm -hmm. only came and amplified it. Mm -hmm. So how would they... Um, how how would would they be able to send that you know um, and bridge right that now? That is what I mean. They have a huge job, huge, in, yes, job in task front of them. ahead of them. So I'm, I I congratulate all of them once again, and I mm. pray that um, you know I like um, Obama also sent his congratulatory message. You know mm -hmm. everybody is just sending congratulations. But mm -hmm. all these people that are claiming African that she's from Nigeria, uncle. Everybody wants to mm -hmm. uh, associate themselves with success. <laughs> Success has many friends. Many friends. And well, brothers and, and sisters. Absolutely. absolutely. All right, so that's all we can take on what's in the news. Um, mm -hmm. As we said earlier today, we're discussing the Lagos road traffic. Ha. Serious matter. And how we, what's our mm -hmm. role as citizens. So stay tuned. We have the GM of LASMA right here in studio with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.